Hey, so I'm, uh, I picked up this Sure Beta 98 ADC just the, the other day there. Just yesterday, actually, in fact. And uh, it's a cardioid condenser uh, drum microphone. And the reason I bought it, I bought it to uh, amplify my, my banjo, which is a gold tone. It's kind of a, I guess an entry level, it's a pretty decent entry level uh, open back banjo called an old timer and it's an A scale so it's uh, the CCOTA by Gold Tone. Um, it's got a Remo Weather, Weather King banjo head. Um, it's a bit of a shorter scale than the others. And so anyway, I've been playing this at church a couple times, or I guess once now, but I'll be playing it quite often now. It was a lot of fun last week, so uh, the only problem was I had to stand right with a mic. I had to I had to keep um, stay right in there and kind of push this into the mic the whole time as I was playing it. Um, and I, I generally I play this. I'm a guitarist more than a banjo banjoist banjist. And um, and so I play the banjo I suppose as as a guitar. Uh, I do have a tune like a regular regular banjo. But um, I'm assuming my, my technique is more of a, of a guitarist, so so if you're an actual banjo player, then you might might be more interested in, um, I don't know, then maybe you'll get something out of this. Anyway, um, yeah, so so I bought this microphone, and uh, it's a drum drum mount on it. I couldn't quite get it to fit on the rim of this banjo, so I ended up putting it between the two tuning pegs there. Obviously you don't want to tight, over tighten it there, or under tighten it, you'll lose the mic, over tighten it, and you might bend these, um, or change the, tune these um, tension rods, whatever you call these things, on the side of the banjo, or you might, um, you might even change the pitch of the of the head, I would assume, if you bent them enough. But um, anyway, so uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video here, just to a demonstrate this, but b to actually. I'm not sure whether this, this video will ever see the light of day on any kind of uh, a sharing site or anything, but I want to figure out where the p right positioning is for the for the, uh, the the microphone. I noticed that as I uh, as I'm going to do in a second here. When you un, when you un, unhook it and you start moving it around, even just plucking a string, you'll notice that there's different levels of brightness and muffledness. Um, I think I got a bit of a sweet spot there, about two inches off the off the rim to the uh, treble side. I guess there. I'm not sure whether that you would consider that a treble side. It seems like the treble is being picked up, depending on. You know, wherever you are, around two inches from the edge there. But uh, anyway, here goes.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Yep, so that's what it was. Beta. 98A. With the uh, uh, ADC drum uh, mount. Again, mounted along the side there like that. Um, now this rod I'm going to put in sideways there now that I figured out that the that the sweet spot's actually quite close to the Remo name there at the back of the thing there so at least that's where it sounded good to me so yeah.